In this video, we're going to talk about how to properly calibrate for the Capto putting software. The data that you get out is only going to be as accurate as the data you put in. So you want to make sure that you take your time when you're going through this process, especially when you're putting in the putter specification information. So things that you might need to do this, you're going to need a ruler because you're going to need to know the total length of the putter. You're also going to need to know the distance that the bottom of the sensor is from the sole of the putter as well. So you're going to need a ruler for that. You also need to know how much loft is on the putter and you need to know the lie. So either you're going to want a loft or lie machine. If you're outdoors like we are today, then Capto makes a ninja star looking thing that actually gives you the loft of the putter. And then I also have a portable protractor so I can get the lie angle of the putter as well. For the first part of the calibration, you're going to need to make sure that the putter face is sitting square to the sensor itself. So you're either going to need a T-square for that, or you're going to want to just get the Capto calibration device. So let's go ahead and talk about the two-step process for calibrating so that you can get to putting. Okay, so now that you've put in the correct data for that player's putter, you've put in the length of the putter, the loft of the putter, the lie, the offset, and you've also selected whether or not it's a blade or a mallet, the last piece of information that you need is the sensor distance. So the Capto calibration tool is really convenient for this because it also helps get you ready for the first part of the calibration, but it also has this ruler on it in inches and centimeters so that when I put this putter flat on it, I know exactly how far the bottom of this sensor is from the bottom of the putter face. So that's the last piece of information that you need. Before you hit calibrate, make sure that you take your calibration tool or you're gonna take your T-square and you need to put it on a flat surface, whether it's on a table or it's on the ground, make sure that it is relatively flat. So I would set this on a flat surface and then I'm gonna put my putter on top of it, making sure that the face of the putter sits flush and square to the end here. And I'm also gonna make sure that the sensor itself is sitting flush on the ground. Once I've done that, I'll hit calibrate. It's gonna count down from five seconds. And after it's done its countdown, it's gonna move you on to step two. Step two, take the putter off the calibration device. You're gonna hold it at the end of the grip, just letting the putter hang freely in what we would also term a plumb bob. So I'm gonna let it hang freely and it's gonna count down from five seconds again. So the reason for this is it's gonna get the true up, so it's gonna know where the shaft is, whereas the first step of the calibration is actually calibrate for the face angle relative to the actual device itself. Once you finish those two steps, that calibration is now stored for the putter and you are good to go and hit putts from anywhere on the putting green and start to capture data that's going to help you or your students improve on the putting green.